December the 21st, the shortest day of the year. Things start to improve from now onwards. Anyway, let's get set up. I'm after three spine sticklebacks today. I'm fishing a brook that you can see there just to the side of me. And I've got my usual approach, which I'll show you later. I'm just trying to mag it on now. I'm going to drop a bait in the water. And let's see if I can catch something. This is a new spot, by the way. Or a new venue. I'm doing some exploring today. Pioneering a brook for sticklebacks. I'm fishing a spot where some vegetation hangs over. I'm dropping my bait in there, but no sign of fish. And just because you can't see them with the naked eye as you walk the brook, doesn't mean to say that they're not in there either. Because sticklebacks, even in the most shallow and clear of venues, hide away perfectly. So the best way to see what's in there, get your rod out, put a bait on and give it a go. That's how I do a lot of my a lot of my fishing. Just go and see what's in there. And certainly as far as sticklebacks and brooks are concerned, I've been on places where there aren't fish. And then I've been on others where I've become pleasantly surprised. I think I might need to move from this spot though. That's the old point of pioneering, isn't it? You keep on the move. Before I do go though, the tackle that I'm fishing with, it's a poacher's pocket, mini rod and reel. It extends to about a meter, it's telescopic. And although I've got four pound line on the reel, I've got a section there of one pound, six ounce mono and a size 18 Drennan super specialist hook and a maggot. And if you watch my videos regularly, then you'll know that I just nip the end of the maggot off because that way, when I catch a very small fish, I know that I can land it because it will be hanging on. And also, even with a big one, you are avoiding the fish taking the hook into its throat. You don't want to do that. I've been mentioning that quite a, a bit recently. It's important to mention. Lift it out. If the fish drops off, that's okay. But if you're okay, that's great. It's all about the fish. This looks promising. It's very overgrown. You can see all these branches there. And that's the beauty of this particular setup that I've got. There's no way could you fish here with a 12 feet rod. Imagine a pole. <laughs> You'd be in the, in the brambles and the fields opposite. But also no lead on the line either. No weight at all. So I'm free lining a maggot. And because it's very clear and shallow, it's sight fishing. I'm keeping an eye on what's going on. Oh, nothing yet. I've only just dropped it in. Usually when the fish are there, they, they come from cover and they descend on the maggot. The waterway is very shallow where I am now. And what I'm going to do is because branches have fallen into the brook over time, leaves have gathered, so there's a, a raft. I'm going to flick a bait out and let it just drift with a gentle current underneath the leaves and the branches and see if there's a stickleback out there. Let's go. I fished a number of spots, nothing at all though. I haven't even seen any fish. This will be my final swim 
before I head for home. Let's see if I can get something from here. It looks promising. I've noticed as well, just downstream on the right, the bank is very undercut. I can, I can, well, I can't even see how far it goes in, but there's definitely a deep undercut there. So I'm just dropping a, a bait here in front of me in open water in case there are any sticklebacks hiding under leaves or twigs that are in the water. I, that's often the case. And then I'm going to just make my way along and give the deep undercut a go. I'm sure, absolutely sure, that there will be some fish under there. just seen some fish they attacked the maggot lifted nothing there very confident though that I will get something from there fantastic a stickleback on the bank I really enjoyed that I caught four tiny fish in the end nothing big at all but under the bank as I had noted that there was a deep hole there, a little channel in fact running down, then it was full of sticklebacks, loads of tiny ones as well. That's a good sign because it's been a good season for breeding, hasn't it? And that's what you want, whatever the venue, whatever the fish, to see younger fish coming through. Anyway, the principles that I've used today, giving it a go watercraft, looking for fish, trying different spots, looking for where the fish might be, those are the same whether you're after the mini species on a brook or whether you're on a huge gravel pit after monster carp, it's still the same. The principles that we learn in angling will put us in a good place for whatever type of fish or venue we're after or on. Anyway, I've got to go home now because I'm off to work this morning. If you are fishing yourself today, the shortest day of the year, tight lines. And remember, it's all uphill from now on.